acid and basic solutions are described quantitatively by the concentrations of the hydronium or hydroxide ion in solution. We express these degrees of acidity more conveniently using the, ter the uh, calculated values of pH or pOH. pH is just the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, whereas pOH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. The pH scale ranges from 1 to 14, 1 being the most acidic, 14 being the least acidic. Uh, so too, the pOH scale is the opposite um, of the pH scale, ranging from 1 to 14 as well. Um, and the pH and pOH values are related um, because of the ion product of water is um, hydronium ion concentration times hydroxide ion concentration equals the Kw, and so um, times 10 to the minus 14. So taking the uh, negative log of both sides of that equation will give you uh, the number 14 equals pH plus pOH. So you can see the inherent relationship between the hydronium ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentration in any relatively dilute aqueous solution. Now let's use this information to calculate the pH of a 6 times 10 to the minus 2 molar hydroiodic solution and a 6 times 10 to the minus 2 molar ammonium ion solution. Um, before you can calculate the pH, of course, you have to go back and think about the solution. First, you'll want to calculate the hydronium ion concentration, and from that value, you can calculate the pH. So for, in this case, let's just focus on the hydronium ion concentration. So you need to recognize that hydroiodic acid is a strong acid. So that means when it's placed in water, it's going to disassociate or ionize 100% to give the hydronium ion because it's going to donate its acidic proton plus the iodide anion. So <clears throat> what this tells you is that whatever you start off with as far as concentration goes, 6 times 10 to the minus 2 molar concentration, um, <clears throat> assuming no hydronium or you're really ignoring the hydronium ion concentration that's inherently in the water, um, the change is going to be a 100% change, so you're going to lose all of the um, molecule, and it's going to be completely ionized <clears throat> to um, the ions, hydronium. Okay, And so now, um, just by understanding that this is a strong acid, we have the hydronium ion concentration here is equal to 6 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. Okay, So you can go back knowing that and calculate the pH of that solution because the pH simply equals the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration which is 6 times 10 to the negative 2. I just plugged those values into my computer, into my computer, into my calculator and when I do that I find that the pH equals 1.2. <clears throat> This strong acid at this concentration would be considered in the corrosive region. Very, very uh, dangerous solution. Now let's take a look at the ammonium ion. Okay, again, first you have to um, calculate the hydronium ion concentration in a solution. <coughs> excuse me, of the ammonium ion. Now the ammonium ion, of course, would exist in solution as a salt and we would recognize that the ammonium ion is the conjugate acid partner of the weak base uh, ammonia and so it's going to act like a weak acid since it's the conjugate partner of a weak base and um, donate its proton to a limited extent um, until it achieves equilibrium. Okay, And all of this of course is in water <clears throat> aqueous solution. Now, um, in this case, we start with a, again, 6 uh, times 10 to the minus 2 molar uh, concentration of the ammonium ion, and we assume uh, no, none of this and none of this, and we're going to lose uh, a little bit, and we're going to gain a little bit of each of the ions. So at equilibrium, so that's the initial, that's the change, at equilibrium, it's going to be 6 times 10 to the negative 2 minus x, uh, and x and x, for the uh, amounts of the hydronium and the um, ammonia ion. 
Now, <clears throat> in order to calculate the hyd um, hydronium ion concentration in this case so that we can ultimately calculate the pH, we need to recognize um, the equilibrium condition. Ka is going to equal the hydronium ion concentration times the ammonia concentration divided by the ammonium ion concentration at equilibrium. And so we plug in each of these uh, values at equilibrium, x times x divided by 6 times 10 to the minus 2 minus x. And then if we want to find the value of Ka, we can't look it up in a table of acids um, because it is the con it's an uncommon acid. It's a very weak acid. It's the conjugate partner of a weak base. So instead, we have to calculate um, this Ka value based on the Kb value for the ammonia, the conjugate base partner is 1. <clears throat> um, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And because of the relationship Kb uh, times Ka for conjugate acid based acid partners equals um, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, Ka times Kb for conjugate acid based partners equals Kw. So I can um, then. Um, Let's see, we move over here. Calculate the Ka in this case is going to equal Ka equals Kw divided by Kb. It's 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by um, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. And that equals 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. Okay, so now we have everything we need to calculate x. One more thing to uh, simplify this equation, uh, we're starting with a relatively high concentration of the um, weak acid, and the Ka is extremely small, which means this is going to ionize to a very, very limited extent. So compared to the amount that we're starting with, to the negative 2, the x um, value is going to be very easily ignored. Okay, and so um, that simplifies the equation quite a bit. We can solve for x here. And x is going to equal, going to equal, let's see, we're going to solve for x, let's move up here, plugging it into the calculator, x is going to equal the square root of 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th times 0 0.06, which is the amount of the initial times 0 0.06, and that value of x equals 5.8 times 10 to the negative 6. So that's our hydronium ion concentration in this solution. Okay, given that hydronium ion concentration, the point was we were trying to calculate the pH of that solution. So we'll go down here, pH equals negative log times uh, 5.8 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, plug that into the calculator. And when you plug that into the calculator, you get a pH of 5.2. So you can see here, 5.2 is in the range of about, um, you know, uh, rain, acid rain, right here, <clears throat> which um, is a higher pH than beer, so obviously it's, it's not a dangerous pH. So you can see even though we started with the same concentration of acid in our solution, the degree of ionization is what um, helps us understand that a, the concentration of the strong acid is a much more dangerous uh, solution than the con same concentration of the weak acid.